speaking, please? It's Rosa calling from the Office of the Public Advocate Advice Service. Hi, how are you going? Good. Is this a good time to speak? Yeah, I can talk and it's quite urgent too, I must say. Um, okay. Be- because, um, look, I could only explain through a video I just made, if, if you would indulge me in sending it to you. Um, I've been character assassinated and I've been called, um, labelled crazy because I've identified it in the past, but I'm actually yeah. owed multi-millions yeah. of dollars in detriment. Now, rather than the government take responsibility, which they haven't, um, I've been framed as an extortionist, a rapist, pedophile, whatever, whatever you know. But the, the situation is that no one sees justice, they see illness. Now, I have a mental health section act on me and... They have yep. tried to um, come and take me. I jumped the back fence and escaped to Bendigo, and I'm on the road. So, um, if I go back, they're going to come and get me, but it is because I've, I was as the subject of oppression um, for the sake of saving people's reputations. Now, there's a tragedy happened where I did suicide within the hosp- in the hospital, but then that was covered up by the government, and... Um, it was condoned and nothing to see. Now, I've struggled since then. They put The government put me on job seeker, And to prove how far this um, c- conspiracy goes, the NDIA Minister Reynolds refuses to give me my receipts. The Health Minister, Greg Hunt, has already silenced evidence that was before a court. And the Prime Minister rejects my um, um, whistleblower statement and he rejects um, um, my freedom of information and the finance minister Birmingham Birmingham rejects my urgent appeal because I have no money no food and no medication because I've lived in poverty for an entire year since that death now I'm, I think they were hoping that I'd kill myself again to, to rid themselves of the problem of me but I don't really want lots of money I just want freedom from oppression and further to that when I go home they're going to come to my door and with a search warrant or whatever the mental health act they're going to take me there and I don't want to go there I'm not insane I've got a PhD I'm cleverer than all them I'm a bit forgetful now because of the injury however um, now it's the case that I cannot see I cannot report rape, murder, tax fraud, drug trafficking, anything to the police, including theft of my phone to my car. I'm banned from police, blanket banned. And I'm blanket banned from being a whistleblower, making a public interest disclosure, or um, having my detriment met. Now, it's obvious that this has come from somewhere, and I think it's maybe my former partner who still owes me half a million dollars who used to work for ASIO. And another couple of issues where I was framed as an extortionist for a valid um, complaint about a GP. Now, for whatever reason, I have been forced to poverty. And why should I um, obey the mental health law if I cannot um, report crime myself to police? Now, this is obviously an injustice. I can't go to police, I can't be a whistleblower, and I can't get a lawyer. I'm owed millions and millions of dollars in detriment. I'm not insane and I'm not suicidal. I'm persecuted and I'm victimized. And the mental health center who I threatened to sue, um, the, the Saltwater Clinic, the local clinic, is an arm of the hospital that I'm trying to sue. The CEO of the hospital, when I just offered an atonement, I offered him to atone for the tragedy that happened, he told me to sue him directly, personally. And that to me is the amount of audacity this movement has because he knows I am utterly powerless. And he knows that people are on side to um, see me as ill when in fact I've been oppressed and literally murdered and it covered up. Now, I ask you as the office of the public advocate what can you do framed by that information which is also publicly available on the website my whistleblowing website because I've had I've had nowhere else to go I've had to scream it out publicly it's called killhim.info 
what can the Office of the Public Advocate do framed by that information? Because I've already been informed by a psychiatrist the last time I was hospitalised that I could be framed with a crime and never get out. That means I lose my freedom. If I go home, I lose my freedom. Now, this is not an issue of crime. It's not an issue of mental illness or suicidality. It's a corrupt and systemic oppression of me. And I'm still trying to work it out because the, the Prime Minister won't give me my freedom of information. Right. So, so what is you, as an advocate, who is part of the government and also under the auspice of the probably the system that's oppressing me, what can you do or um, now that this evidence is out there and um, and that, that, that it's absolutely clear that I'm not suicidal or at risk and that this is not a mental health issue, this is a systemic persecution issue where because they couldn't kill me, they're going to jail me. Okay. So, Dr. McLean, um, the Office of the Public Advocate generally assists people who have lost capacity to make decisions. So I, I can't. I can't make this decision. I, I can't. I, I'm. 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 I'm framed. I, if they come, I have to obey that law. But I can't report law. But this is not right. And you, as a public official, I might just gently remind you that um, the Charter of Human Rights of People with a Disability, and I have a few labels to my name, and also now an acquired brain injury, I am deserving of those principles in that law. And as a public official, you're not allowed to stray outside of those, um, the Charter, mm -hmm. the charter um, so, via, well, can, can I just say via, um, via omission or by saying we can't help you because literally you have to you have you have to as your um, obligation to me um, as a government employee defend me against your boss you know what I mean uh, I understand that's what you're saying I don't know that that's exactly the case but in this situation um, we are generally the office of the public advocate is appointed by VCAT to make decisions on behalf of people who have lost capacity um, generally we don't act we don't take on particularly we don't take on cases without being directed by VCAT. Um, so I, I don't think Richard, uh, it's Richard, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Richard, that we're going to be able to assist you. Can I just look at your website for a minute? The Office sure. of the Public Advocate. Hang on, I'm just going to look yep. it up and just yep. read you back of Public Advocate. Now, it's public, right? So that's the public. I'm the public, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not through VOCAT. I'm, I'm the public. And this is your website, publicadvocate.vic.gov.au. And I might remind you at this point that I am banned from Victoria and Federal Police. I am banned at IBAC as a failed whistleblower. And I'm banned at even looking at that at the Victorian Inspectorate. Now, you having probably known advance who I already am, it says here on your website you're safeguarding people with disability and mental illness, right? Um, now, 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 I've got rights, okay? What does it say here about my rights, my human rights? I've just informed you about a website that publicly blows the whistle on a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice that has tried to kill me, cover it up, and will now jail me. I am on the road with no medication, no food, and no petrol. I am sitting here begging for help. You are the Office of the Public Advocate. You protect my human rights as a person with a disability. Now, you can, you can, you can stigmatize me for being clever and articulate, but I actually have, if you want to believe the, the psychiatrist, schizophrenia, bipolar, personality disorder, ADHD, panic disorder, adjustment disorder, and I can't remember the others. And also now, I've got an acquired brain injury from the um, years of oppression that led me to my suicide in Werribee Mercy Hospital that was then covered up by the government and 
I have just informed you as a public official of crime that has happened. It is not permissible for you to act by omission to not act on that. I beg of you to, to, to reconsider, not, not saying that um, you can't help me, but if I go home, I'm framed. I'm going to jail. What can you, you do said, about sorry, that? Sorry, Richard, you said that you, you don't have a mental illness. Who said Isn't that? that? right? You said that. When? Just now. You said to me, um, you said, why should you accept the Mental Health Act? You're not insane. You're not suicidal. The Mental Health Act, if you'll excuse me for um, explaining what you already know, is prepared for people who are at risk to themselves or someone else, correct? Yep, yep. So I just told you a list of mental illnesses I have been diagnosed with, correct? Is that right? But you, were t you also told me that you weren't insane. And I also have explained to you in great detail the conspiracy to pervert the course of justice and yep. also that they're coming to jail me out of oppression. And it's, Are they going to take you to jail? Are they going to take you to hospital? Oh, I meant jail to hospital, to, to, to the psychiatric ward. I yeah. don't need to go to the psychiatric ward. I'm yeah, not a risk to myself and I'm not a risk to other people. You are the office yeah. of the public advocate and you must advocate yeah. for a person in the public. Well, that happens when we're appointed by the by VCAT. When the VCAT has, made it, has, has looked at medical evidence, the person lacks capacity to make decisions for themselves and VCAT will appoint us as a, their advocate. But without that, we're not able to assist. I just want to acknowledge to you, as you're denying me and condoning me to be jailed, that, um, that you've just acted outside of the realm of the Charter for Human Rights with people with a disability because you've acted with a mission and via that conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, which is in line with every other government systemic organisation I've ever dealt with. Do you understand well, that you've broken the law? Well, I, I do understand that that's your understanding. Uh, I know. Richard, I know the law. Okay, that's fine, Richard. Um, look, if you're unhappy with the service that we're unable to provide for you, you can make a complaint to the Office of Public Advocate. Delay, defer, deny is no longer an option, honey. I am on the road, on the escape from being jailed. You are the Office of the Public Advocate and you've just broken the law and you refuse to help me. You're, you, you, you know, it's really cowardly for a person in position of privilege to easily kick a can down the road one stick at a time when it's a, a million sticks that have framed me and someone's tapped you on the shoulder and told you not to help Rich. Well, thanks a lot because that's one Richard, stick of a huge faggot that is hitting me on top of the head. You refuse to help. I just want to say... You are the office. Can you repeat this? I am rep represent the office of the public advocate and people with a mental illness, and I will not defend Richard from being incarcerated. Unfortunately, I'm not going to repeat that, Richard. But, um, if because that would identify you. Your website. I will have a look at it. You'll have a look at it. Well, you you, you said you wanted me to look at your video. Um, if you want me to look at it, I I can do that, but I, I don't know if that will change my response, the response that you've already received, because I don't know what's on that video. It's not just a video, it's many videos and systemic oh, okay. evidence of government corruption. Mm -hmm. And now okay. that I, can I just get your name again? It's Rosa. Rosa. No, that's enough, there's only one Rosa in this office. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be enough to identify you when this yes. statement now goes on my website because I've just recorded it without your permission and it's not an offence under the Surveillance Act 1999 if it's got to do with death. So, good on now. You haven't helped. Have a lovely day. Yes.